Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 12 and a quarter inch E-coat driver side hub and rotor disc brake assembly with the 8 on 6 and a half inch bolt pattern for 7,000 pound axles. Now this trailer brake assembly will make it easy to upgrade from drum brakes to disc brakes for better performance. Disc brakes will give you more consistent stopping even at highway speeds and dramatically shorter stopping distances. Also disc brakes are easier and less expensive to maintain. <clears throat> Now this kit will include one full brake assembly for a driver side of your trailer. It includes everything here on the table, one E-coated hub and rotor assembly, one E-coated ductile iron caliper, two of the semi-metallic brake pads, one E-coated caliper mounting bracket with the installation nuts and a little tube of thread sealant. We'll also include the bearings, both inner and outer bearings, the bearing races which are pre-installed in the hub, the oil seal, the oil cap, and the lug nuts. Now these parts have a nice e-coat finish on them, provides corrosion resistance for fresh water and limited salt water use. The rotor has a nice vented design to it to help regulate the temperature, prevent overheating. The included hub right here will replace your existing hub. The caliper is a self-adjusting caliper, ensures maximum surface contact for smooth equal braking. The pads it comes with are the semi-metallic brake pads to help resist heat, provide excellent grip. And the mounting bracket here is made of a ductile iron construction, provides strength and durability. Now the mounting bracket is what makes this assembly a left hand side application. The location of these mounting holes right here when you install it will determine what side of the trailer that this assembly goes on. <clears throat> now a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines are required for the brakes to be activated. We do sell those parts separately. I do want to mention that when you do get an actuator and lines, it does require a PSI rating of at least 1600 PSI. These parts are made in the USA. Again, it's designed to fit axle capacities of 7,000 pounds. The wheel size that'll fit on this, the wheel diameter is 16 inches, 16 and a half inches, and 17 inches. The bolt pattern on this hub is eight on six and a half inch bolt pattern. The wheel bolt diameter is a half an inch. The diameter on the rotor, which will be measured from here to here, is 12 and a quarter inches. <clears throat> now on the mounting bracket, the caliper mounting bracket, it does have a five bolt brake flange configuration. Now the bearings that are included, the inner bearing, which is the larger of the two, is part number 25580, has a 1.75 inch inner diameter. The outer bearing is part number 14125A, has a 1.25 inch inner diameter. The bearing races are already pre-installed in the hub. <coughs> the oil seal that's included is part number 10-63, Inner diameter of 2.25 inches, outer diameter of 3.376 inches. The oil cap is included, and eight of the half inch by 20 size lug nuts. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 12 and a quarter inch E coat driver side hub and rotor disc brake assembly with the eight on six and a half inch bolt pattern for 7,000 pound axles. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.